Okay, so we have a new app here, just named Selfie Time. And in our blank view controller, we're just going to add our button to it. Not to zoom in on it, drag the button, name the button Take Photo, and a UI image view. So the button is going to access our camera and take a photo, and then later on, we'll reload that photo and add it to this image view. So with the Take Photo button, just click on it, go to the Assistant Editor in the top right, going to hit Control and drag. We're going to create a new action, and we're going to name it Take Photo. Connect that up. Once that's down, we'll close that view down and go over to the View Controller and code it up so we can access the user's camera. So first of all, up the top in the class view controller, UI view controller, we need to add a comma at the end and add UI image picker controller delegate. And once you've added that, we also need to add UI navigation controller delegate. These two extra classes are needed to be able to access the user's camera. So once you've done that, under take photo, we're going to do if UI image picker controller dot is source type available. And we're going to do UI image picker controller source type dot camera. And if that is available, This means that we can access the user's camera. So once we're able to access the user's camera, we're going to do let image picker equals UI image picker controller. Then we'll do image picker dot delegate equals self. Then image picker dot source type equals UI image picker. Just do that UI image picker controller source type dot camera. Then we'll do image picker dot allows editing equals false. Then we'll do self dot present view controller. The view controller we're going to present is the image picker. Animate will be true and completion will be nil. So what this code does is it first of all checks if we can access a camera. If we can, it will create a new instance of the image picker controller. It will set the delegate to self, which means this class is its delegate and that means it can control the camera. The source type is the user's camera. The allows editing we're setting as false. You can set it to true, but basically it allows the user once they take a photo to crop the image. So if it's set to false, they can't crop the image. If it's set to true, they can crop the image. Then we do self .present view controller image picker, animated true, and completion as nil, so this will show the camera controller to the user. So I'll show you it running now. And just a quick note, you can't run this on the simulator because the simulator doesn't have a camera. So you'll need to run it on an actual iPhone or iPad to test the code out. So I'll show you what happens now when we run that code. Okay, so if we've got our app up here now, if we go take photo, we can see, we can see the camera, that crazy effect on the screen recording. And you can see my microphone that I'm also using to recording. You can also turn it around, take a selfie. And then that takes a photo. Then you can use or retake that photo. So what I'll show you now is how to actually load that photo back into the app so you can use it for whatever you like.
Okay, so now that we have the app taking a photo, let's make it so that the photo we take gets added to this image view here. So to do that, use the assistant editor, connect up our image view, and we're going to name it my image as an outlet. Once you've done that, close it down, go back to the view controller, and we need to add in one more function. And if we start typing did finish picking media, Eventually we'll see there's only one method here, which is they did finish picking media for info. So this is the one we want. So this is a special method whereby when you either take a photo or pick an image from the gallery, this method will be, will be run and you can access that photo. So what we're going to do, we're going to go let picked image equals info brackets UI image picker controller original image. So we do controller original image bracket as question mark UI image. Then we'll do the curly brackets and we're going to go my image dot content mode equals scale to fill with a dot at the front and my image dot image equals picked image and finally we're going to do picker dot dismiss animated true completion as nil Okay, so also before the let's we need to add an if statement. So it will be if let picked image is info brackets UI image picker controller original image as UI image. What this is doing, this gets the image here and stores it in the picked image constant and then we'll add it to that UI image view. So let's run our app now and see how it goes. Okay, we can see the app running now. So if we go take photo, take a photo of the keyboard, go use photo. We can see our image view now has a photo we just took. So if we do that again, take a photo of the mouse here, zoom in on it, use photo. We have a photo of the mouse. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe and leave any feedback below. Also check out our website, Facebook and Twitter by clicking or tapping any of the buttons on screen.